Hey guys, Samir from Can Attack TV. In today's video, we're going over why this M18 projector is the best 1080p budget buy that you can pick up on Amazon, so stay tuned. All right guys, so JimTab sent out their M18 projector, and I truly believe that this M18 projector is one of the best budget buys that you can get on Amazon. It's native 1080p, and if you want 1080p, and you don't want to pay for a big brand name projector that's going to cost probably a couple hundred dollars more, then this is the option for you. So guys, once you unbox this, this is what it's going to look like. So like I said, this is native 1080p. It's 4,500 lux, so the brightness is pretty good on this. Basically, it's definitely a step up above the whole 720p range of budget projectors on Amazon right now. It's going to have better brightness, got that native 1080p, so it's going to be a step up in the picture quality. And this is the best option out there if that's what you're looking for. True 1080p at a great price. So this typically retails for $249.99 at the full price, but you might be able to catch it on certain deals and certain coupons up there on Amazon. So I'll have the link down here below but definitely check into that. So as far as your connections, guys, you're gonna get like everything in the box, but this has a robust amount of options for different connections. You've got two HDMI ports, there's two different USB ports. One of them's a five volt port that can power a device as well. If you're hooking up, say like a fire stick or something like that, that needs some external power. You've got an IR sensor here on the back and a VGA port. And then over on the side, you've got a microphone jack, AV jack, and then you've got an SD card slot as well. And so because this does have that mic jack right on here, you can use an aux cable and hook this up to an external speaker or set of speakers if you really wanna upgrade that sound quality even further. Fan noise on this really isn't an issue. It's about 45 decibels internal, external environment, it's about 50 to 55 decibels. So you're gonna notice it, but this has a good set of speakers on it where you can definitely you know, overpower that fan noise and you're not gonna really notice it while you're actually using it. If that is a concern to you and you're really picky with your sound, that's where you can use that jack for the aux cable and hook it up to a set of external speakers. You're not gonna have any problem with the fans. And speaking of sound, this projector does support Dolby Digital Sound. So a lot of these other budget projectors do not support Dolby Audio because there's an issue with the licensing of the Dolby content. So this does support that. Other models, what you'll find is basically you'll go to play something. If it's got Dolby Sound on, it won't play. You're not going to have any audio at all coming out of the projector. And you're going to have to go into the settings and then basically turn to a different type of you know, audio and turn the Dolby off. So this does support the Dolby Audio, so that's a big plus as well. So yeah, these five watt stereo speakers are definitely gonna be enough for most people. And then if you need to, you can always hook it up to an external speaker. So guys, they say that you can get a 300 inch diagonal picture with this. I have a 100 inch diagonal projector screen. That's typically what I project to, and that's the size that I've tested with this. And I can attest that that looks nice and crisp. It looks nice and good up there on the wall. Uh, but it's good to know that if you did want to blow this up even bigger and say project on like, you know, the side of a building, say, then you could get up to a 300 inch diagonal screen, which is pretty darn cool. And the other cool thing with this is that you can actually use this during the daytime if you wanted to. So it doesn't have amazing brightness where you're going to be able to use this in, you know, direct sunlight. But what I do is I turn my blinds shut and I can watch an NFL football game, you know, 1 p.m. on a Sunday and this is you know, good enough to actually see the screen still, you can read text, things like that. So when I think of, you know, compared to going to a sports bar, say, and they've got internal lights on, and they've got projectors going, it's pretty similar to that. You're gonna be able to see stuff. It might be a little bit washed out during you know, those most daytime hours. But yeah, using this at night is definitely where this thing shines. Um, you're gonna get you know, the best picture quality in the darkest environment. So if you can really control that you know, surrounding environment and you've got good control over windows and ambient light in the room and stuff like that, then this is really gonna shine. But definitely if you're using this at nighttime, you're not gonna have any issues at all with brightness and you're gonna get a really great picture. All right guys, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna hop over to the living room here. I'm gonna show you some of the actual footage from this native 1080p M18 projector. I have a few pictures of daytime footage and then I'm going to show you kind of the nighttime footage and what it looks like going through that. All right, so what we're going to do first is hop over to Netflix here. I'm going to show you a little bit about what that's going to look like. So you can see here, this is kind of the interface of Netflix, looking at some of the thumbnails, looking at some of the text. 
you can see that text up there in the upper left is nice and crisp. You can read, you know, the season and episode number and everything really well. So everything comes through great at nighttime like this. So this is complete darkness. Blinds are drawn. It's night. So everything looks great. Now Hulu is the same thing. You got great color. You can see you can read all the text very well. Um, if we start scrolling through here and take a look at some of these other thumbnails and everything, you can see, you know, good contrast, pretty good colors and all that kind of stuff. And again, this is nighttime. Everything's coming through and just popping really great. And then if you watch my videos, you know, I like to do a stock video test as well. This comes from Nick and Dean Nimmons free stock vids channel. So you can kind of see here what this is going to look like with this is actual native 1080p footage. And since this projector is native 1080p, that's what you are seeing here. So it comes out, you know, very nice. It looks just like the actual footage, a lot of detail. I like the colors on it and everything. The contrast is great. So again, good picture quality. Let me know if you're watching this video right now, let me know down there in the comment section what your thoughts are on this projector and kind of some of the images in the video that you're seeing here. For me, you know, in my experience, I've tested out probably over 20 to 30 projectors right now from a lot of them 480p, 720p, and then a few 1080p. And this is really great for me and it definitely suffices when I'm using this at home. But right now we're gonna head over to YouTube for some audio. Russell Wilson on film, what, what makes him so good and hard to defend? Uh, he's a better passer out of the pocket than when he's in the pocket. So, you know, when you thought he, you've had him corralled, you know, he's able to, to elude you know, sacks and tackles and gets out, directs traffic, and he's able to throw it downfield. But I would really recommend these. Like I said, I haven't had any issues with these whatsoever. And for 40 bucks, I really don't think you're going to find any competing earbuds that do any better in that price range. Uh, this does have some spots on the bottom here to mount this to an actual projector mount. And also has some rubberized feet. So if you want to put this on, you know, like a desktop or your kitchen table, family room table, something like that, it's not going to mark up the surface. Then you do have on the front here, there's kind of your little knob where you can kind of level the projector a little bit and angle it up if you need to. And then with your keystone, you've got a 15 degree keystone on the top right here. And by doing your keystone wheel, that'll help adjust the picture and do kind of the vertical tilt. You know, of course you're gonna get like a remote in there too, but you've got all types of buttons down here for your controls, for your source, your power on and off, directional buttons, you can control the volume through these. So you can do that. And then you're also gonna have the remote that's gonna have all the controls as well. So guys, I honestly think that this is one of the best budget projectors out there, period, that you can buy if you're looking at a budget projector for a home theater setup. So if you want 1080p, I would seriously look at this. You know, there's obviously other options out there, but you're going to pay a couple hundred dollars more to even sniff 1080p in, you know, Epson, Optima, those type of projectors. So this is an awesome, awesome value. You get the native 1080p pretty awesome brightness. You can use this for some things during the day with the 1080p natively. You can actually use this for certain like, you know, presentations and a little bit for text and things like that because that clarity is going to be there that isn't really there in the 480p especially, but the 720p models. So, the 1080p on this is amazing. You're going to be able to do a lot of different things with this projector whether it's business or play. So, thanks to Jim Tab for sending out their M18 projector. I really wanted to make this video because the M18 is one of the best projectors out there right now on Amazon. It's a great value, so I really wanted to bring that to you guys. So they sponsored this video. Thanks to them for sending this one out. And like always, there will be a link down here below in the description. So that's going to be the Gym Tab M18 projector there. It is an affiliate link, so it helps out the channel also if you purchase basically anything through that link. I do have some new Canda Tech TV merch, so... If you want to support the channel that way, you can pick up a shirt or mug or something like that as well. Teespring link will be down there below. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I have tested this projector extensively, so if you have any questions, definitely let me know and I'll do my best to help you guys out. I have a whole budget projector playlist as well. So I've reviewed a bunch of different projectors on this channel from 240p all the way up to 1080p like this one here. But you'll see that projector playlist popping up right over here. So if that's something you're interested in or you want to see a few others, definitely click that over here. I'll have a subscribe button popping up over here as well. I review projectors on my channel weekly here. 
So I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and become part of the Candid Tech crew. Thank you guys for watching with me here today. Take care until the next one.